Honda CBR Fireblade, the standard version, running at about 16 grand. 800 quid for the extra uplift to downshift to auto blipper system that you get, or pay 19 odd grand and you get the uh, Fireblade SP, which has lighter wheels, uh, no pillion seat, a few extra bits, and the auto blipper uh, titanium tank. Uh, just generally a little bit more track orientated. Obviously, it's got, an, it's got adjustable O lins. Uh, this one hasn't. Damn fine bike though. Okay, so let's take the uh, fire blade out. Let's look at the wishy washy boogie TFT. That wasn't on there a couple of years ago when I last took one out. First and only time. Got three rider modes user one, two, and three, and configurable. Uh, user one being the, uh, the full power, full Scooby Doo Monty Beans. Uh, which it is currently in. Uh, don't know why I do that. Sign of madness. Let's touch up. Oh yes. Well, first impressions. Um, bearing in mind, I haven't been in many suit bikes this season. And I've forgotten what I like. Is that it's actually pretty damn comfy. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Zero idea. Don't know where that came from. Oh, a bit of weight, a bit. Uh, handlebars aren't too low. Obviously they're kind of clip-on, so... Racing style, but not silly low. But uh, on my ride down here, I was getting aching back the wrist pretty quickly. But what a smooth bike, and the seat's really comfy. Now yeah, when you're really going at speed, you can duck really low, push your ass right back, get below the cow. And it's very nice indeed. Now the last time I was on the uh, Fireblade, it was in fact the first time I ever went out on a superbike. And uh, damn, what an experience that was. Oh dear, oh dear, I really, I mean, I almost literally cat myself. I had a bit of a moment, one of the biggest moments I've had on a motorcycle actually. Absolutely terrifying. <laughs> I mean, I'm a rubbish rider now, but back then, that was two years, or well, 18 months at the start of my riding 18 month career. I did have a real Scooby Doo what I was doing. It's got such lovely kind of linear power. Oh, that's a bit of a bump. Tires moved up nicely. Look at how fast these bikes are, it's mad! Oh, as you said, we'll just keep the last open up a bit, wow! Whew. Hot damn! The power this thing puts out, and the way it delivers it, in such a beautiful linear fashion, really connected to the throttle in a, a fantastic way. It's a remarkable bike. I can see why it's still, a, sorry, a purist dream, and also other people just really like it as well. It's, uh, it's phenomenal, really. You certainly feel connected with this bike. I mean, day in, day out ride. I might like the uh, mitigation stuff that could save your ass on the BMW. And th this bike is just, it's, it's so nimble. Also, I drove the uh, Speed Triple RS. And that just felt a lot heavier. Of course, it's not a racing bike, but still, this feels like. Well, without I'm getting used to it, but it's uh, very marvellous. Oh, sneaky in here. Got away with it. Oh, I've to, oh, I love this bike so far. I, mean, I don't know what's changed since the 2015 model I took out, back in the day. It feels pretty raw, pretty similar to uh, how I remember it feeling. Obviously the TFD screens have changed and that's a real boom. Although it's placed so low and your head so far forward. I mean you can't see it, you should look down. 
if you're looking down, you're not looking in front of you, therefore it's <laughs> inevitably dangerous. Which is a bit of a tickle, isn't it? A bit of a tickle. I'm going to ask you about um, can options and full systems. And they said, well, most people don't bother. And I now know why. This bike sounds flipping epic. It really does. It's got the most amazing sound. The engine, you can hear, more so than the exhaust. It's got a marvellous, marvellous sound. So you can really get used to it. It's quite addictive. It does no silly pops and crackles. Well, I would like them. You know that. Well, these bikes still so popular with the man. Although every Tom Dick now these days seems to get the S1000 or the Kawasaki. Oh, superb. <sighs> what a day. God, it's getting hot and hotter. I'm starting to strip my nuts off here. Yeah? Uh, this bike actually isn't that hot. It is nowhere near as hot as the Panagardi gets and not as hot as an S1000 double R gets. Uh, that's a really good thing. Everybody who's ridden these kind of bikes know that they can get really hot. And in the summer, it's not actually that funny at all. Not the greatest place to be. What if I'm enjoying this? Oh, that noise! Woohoo! Obviously, bugger all practicality. You can't take three people on this bike. Well, you could, but certainly not legally. And I see some mad things in Indian and Thailand videos with a, fa a whole family being on a scooter ha! oh dear quite mad quite mad out there a little chat with potholes Good turn of speed. What a good turn of speed. This is already so much more thrilling than the uh, Speed Triple RS. I want to go out a double R again and a, a Kawasaki, Jixxer, RS V4. I want to go out and all the usual culprits. But interesting to see how much better they are than this. <sighs> so, yeah, talking about dynamics, the car can't really get close, even the fastest of cars, even the Lamborghinis. And the McLarens, the, you know, top of the range ones. They don't quite match it. Um, only a Formula One car could probably match a motorbike because that's got the same amazing braking, which always freaks people out. More so than the acceleration and the way it can turn a corner. Give you so much confidence, which is a dangerous thing in my game because, uh, oh, bloody bumps! This road, look at it. Shit. Oh, wow, fantastic. Even at slow speeds in uh, traffic, this car, eh? even at slow speeds in traffic, this bike is so usable. Oh, amazingly, I haven't touched the horn instead of the indicator. Early days though, early days. brings my ride on the Fireblade to an end and I thoroughly enjoyed it. What a great bike, super smooth, easy to ride in traffic conditions. 
probably one of the few litre bikes uh, a newbie could get to grips with fairly quickly as long as he stays in the uh, lower modes. I'm putting the scores up now. Let me know what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know your thoughts down below. This is Aid signing out. Take care and ride carefully.